everyone! Welcome back to Reading with Leanne. We are going to read the book Scaredy Squirrel Makes a Friend and this is by Melanie Watt. So opening up this book we see a squirrel holding some lemonade. Now let's get an introduction to Scaredy Squirrel. Scaredy Squirrel doesn't have a friend. He'd rather be alone than risk encountering Someone dangerous. A squirrel could get bitten. A few individuals Scaredy Squirrel is afraid to be bitten by. Walruses, bunnies, beavers, piranhas, Godzilla. Stop, stop, stop. So, Scaredy Squirrel finds interesting ways to pass the time all by himself. So what do you do if you have no friends? Well, he reads the phone book. He whistles. He knits. He chats. Hello, sock puppet. He crafts. He yawns, mm. he counts, six, seven, eight, until one day he spots someone perfectly safe, a goldfish. So this is the perfect friend, according to Scaredy Squirrel. Bubbly personality, quiet, Squeaky clean, squeak, squeak. No teeth, mm. germ free. Doesn't do much, but is 100% safe. A few items Scaredy Squirrel needs to make the perfect friend. Lemon, why do you need a lemon? Name tag, mittens, a comb. A mirror, an air freshener, a toothbrush, a chew toy? Why does he need this stuff? Well, how to make the perfect first impression. Why do you need a lemon? Well, prepare freshly squeezed lemonade. Why do you need a name tag? Well, hello, my name is Scaredy. Make sure name tag is visible. Why would you need mittens? Wear mittens to hide sweaty paws. Some people, when they're scared, their hands get really sweaty. What about a comb? Well, you gotta tame your bad hair. A toothbrush and a mirror? Well, brush teeth thoroughly and practice smile. Ugh. Check for nutty breath and food caught between teeth. And why do you need the air freshener? Well, what if you're stinky? Use pine scent to smell delightful. So this explains most of the items, but not the chew toy. We don't know why he needs the chew toy yet. So let's flip the page to follow the perfect plan. The perfect plan. We see a map here, and on the legend, there's a nut tree and a fountain, a tree, rocks, a bush, a pine tree, a pond, and biter, 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 biter. Okay, so that explains what's on the map. Now for the perfect plan, step one, toss down chew toy to distract biters. Step two, use mirror to check hair and teeth. Step three, da, 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 run to fountain. Step four, point at name tag and smile. Step five, offer lemonade. Step six, make the perfect plan. And on the way, don't talk to suspicious bunnies. Stay away from piranha infested ponds. Beware of walruses, they're fast on their flippers. 
Avoid beavers. They could snap at any moment. Watch out for Godzilla, for obvious reasons. But let's say, just for example, that scaredy squirrel did come face to face with a potential biter. He knows exactly what not to do. What if he sees someone who wants to bite him? <sighs> do not show fear. <gasps> do not show your fingers. <gasps> do not make eye contact. <laughs> do not make any loud noises. If all else fails, play dead. So this is actually something that you can do in the wild. If a bear comes at you in the wild, you can try to lie down, play dead, and maybe the biting bear will go away. And the last thing he'll do is hand over the test. Now this is Scaredy's risk test. Who are you? Walrus, bunny, beaver, piranha, Godzilla, or other? Question number two. How many teeth do you have? Two. 10, 32, 100, 1,000, more, 3, what's your hobby? Biting, other. Question 4, what do you see? A friend or something to bite. So, with every detail under control, Scaredy Squirrel puts the plan into action. First, he tosses the chew toy, right? That's a distraction. That's why he needs it. Then he heads down the tree. Looks like now he's looking in the mirror to check how he looks. Everything is perfect until he hears a strange sound coming from behind. He looks in the mirror. Objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. And he realizes, oh, what's behind him? It's a dog. This was not part of the plan. The dog has the chew toy. The dog chases Scaredy around the bush, around the fountain, and around in circles until Scaredy Squirrel plays dead. Mm -hmm. 30 minutes later. Mm -hmm. One hour later. Two hours later, Scaredy Squirrel opens both eyes. It doesn't look like the dog failed out his test. Doesn't look like the dog is very mean either. Hmm? After all this time, Scaredy Squirrel realizes that the dog doesn't want to bite him. He just wants a friend. <gasps> Scaredy Squirrel points at his name tag and smiles. He chases his new buddy. They play fetch, squeak. They play hide and seek. They play dead. <gasps> Scaredy Squirrel forgets all about the goldfish. Actually, the goldfish already has a friend. Not to mention the walruses, bunnies, beavers, piranhas, and Godzilla. Time flies when you're having fun. All this excitement inspires Scaredy Squirrel to make a few minor changes to his idea of a friend. The almost perfect friend, according to Scaredy Squirrel. Muddy paws. Wet doggy smell. <laughs> Loud bark. Tooth. Drool. Germs. 83% safe but lots of fun. So look at the image. 
our scaredy squirrel finally has made a friend. It looks like he named his dog Buddy. Oh, and look around the dog's collar. There's the air freshener. P.S. For the wet doggy smell, it's been taken care of. And that is the end of our book. This is called Scaredy Squirrel Makes a Friend by Melanie Watt. Thank you so much for reading along with me.